Hey, welcome back to another video. And today Skyloom just released a mobile editing application. I didn't even know this was coming, but it is out and we're going to take a look at it. Before we dive into it, I do want to talk about the pricing because this isn't a free application. There's a subscription model as well as a one-time payment. Now I personally paid out of pocket, so I'm not singing the praises of this particular application, but I do want to look at it and, you know, kind of go through that learning curve with you. But I I think just from looking at the app, it's not going to be so hard to figure out. Now, if you want to pick up the app, check the description box below. There's going to be a link down there and you'll be able to go download it. At the current moment, I believe it's only for iOS. If you are using an Android device, you may not have access to this, but if I find an Android version, I'll definitely make sure that it's in the description box below. So let's dive into the app. All right. So when you open up the app, you're going to be greeted with a uh, ability to select whatever photo that you want if you give it access to all your photos or if you have to go and select the photo that you want specifically now I'm personally gonna go to portrait here and I have some photos of my daughter but there is a very specific photo that I wanted to edit and it is this one right here so now I have the photo selected for my daughter. That experience is no different than most other photo mobile applications where you got to kind of go find the photo. So don't overthink that. Uh, for whatever reason, it defaults to the sky update. In order to get to all the tools, obviously, you have to click on the little arrow that says tools down at the bottom of the screen. And then you are greeted with a few different features. You have sky select. You have the remove power lines, enhance AI, skin AI, body AI, filters, which we're going to take a look at, cropping, uh, adjustments, and erase. Now, if you're familiar with Luminar Neo, you're going to feel right at home with working inside of this, I think, because a lot of the tools that are inside of this particular application are tools that we're used to using as Luminar uh, users. So. The first thing that I want to do is hit the Enhance AI because that's where I kind of like to start with Luminar Neo. Uh, I'd also like to start and develop, but since this was a JPEG, it kind of already captured what it needed to. So Enhance AI, that looks good. If you long press on the photo or just tap on it, you'll get a before and after. So this is obviously after. This is before. So. I really like what I'm getting with that. Now, what I'm going to do is hit the tools and we're going to go to the filters. My daughter has pretty good skin, so I'm not going to worry about that. And I'm not going to go through every single one of the filters, but what I will do is show you the categories of each of the filters. So there's creative portraits, wild adventures, beach vacation, great landscapes, black and white, pets, selfie, film look, food, and then winter. Now, obviously there's a few different presets or filters, I'll call them because that's what Skyloom is calling them. Uh, and underneath each one of these filters, you can choose the opacity of how strong you want that to impact your photo. So you can really blend this. Now, so far in my testing, I have not been able to find a way to stack multiple filters so this you know it has the limitations of a mobile editing application but that's okay i think because most people are probably going to use this just to get a quick edit and then post to a social or send to a friend or family member so i actually really like this particular preset so i'm going to leave that there and kind of play around with how strong i want that to blend in uh, I think I was okay with where it was. This is at 100% and going before and after. I really do like the way that this looks. So maybe I will dial it back just a little bit, maybe to about there. Yeah, I think that that looks pretty good. So we'll hit tools and then we'll look at the adjust features. Now, these are very basic. There is not an HSL in here. You got exposure, contrast, shadows, highlights, and saturation, and a slider to adjust that. All right. So nothing over the top there. I'm not going to spend too much time in that area. I think if you're used to editing photos, you're going to know about that. Uh, what I will look at is the erase tool. Now, this is kind of cool, but 
it is a little finicky, so you have to be careful, or at least in my testing. Now, what I'm going to do is if you take both of your fingers and you kind of pinch like this, so I'm going to use my thumbs, uh, you can zoom in and you have to move that over to the area that you want to remove. So I want to get rid of this little white strip here. And if I move this bar down here at the bottom, you see that it's actually adjusting my brush size. I'm going to pull this up to about there and I'm just going to go ahead and use my finger, which my fingers are pretty large. This is a small area that I'm going to work with, so it's always clunky. But if I just brush over that, you can see it tries to get rid of it. I think that this would do better. I haven't tried this on the iPad with an Apple Pencil. Hopefully I can put this onto an iPad and then have access to it with an Apple Pencil. Um, but I'll go ahead and zoom out. And, you know, if you weren't really looking, you wouldn't notice. Uh, it definitely is not as obvious as that white strip that was there from her undershirt. So I'm going to go with it. Uh, it could be better. Could be user error. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are on that. Uh, and then all the other tools, they work essentially the same. Now, I don't do too much sky swapping, but that's something that I will test. I just wanted to give you a quick little overview. Now, when you are done editing, make sure that you hit the little up arrow. All right. The up arrow is going to give you the share capabilities that we're probably used to seeing uh, regularly. And then I just hit save image and it drops it to my camera roll. All right. Now, if you want to save this to it, the app just crashed. So the photo that's on screen right now is one of the photos that I edited earlier and I enjoyed the way that it came out. it was a photo of me and my daughter and you know, it's gotta be, it's going to get better. The application overall is going to get better as Skyloom figures out how they're going to fix and make it more stable. With that being said, is it worth the money? I don't know. You let me know in the comment section below. There is a free trial for seven days, so please try it out if it's something that you're interested in. But if not, that's okay too. Now, I will make more tutorials about this application moving forward, but I just wanted to get this particular video out because it's a new thing and I know anyone who's interested in new stuff, you kind of want to hear about it first or early on so you can make a decision. So hopefully you found value in the content. If you did, smash the like button. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe if you're not already. Until the next time, stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.